is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i have to talk a little bit quieter for this video uh because it's like almost 11 o'clock at night but i want to film this video because i really feel led to um a few months ago i don't exactly know when but it was a few months ago i posted a video talking about my faith and um i've i've struggled i've stumbled since then in just different areas, you know, got along tests, getting through them, still have not completely there. You know, I'm never gonna be completely there. As Christians, we are constantly fighting the fight of faith. It says, I can't give you chapter and verse, but it says um, in the word that we are to fight the good fight of faith, meaning that it's a constant battle. We do not war against flesh and blood on this earth. Um, but powers and principalities of many kinds. So to sit here and think that just because we're saved, we don't have to do anything and we're just, you know, everything's good. I'm a Christian. Okay, I get to go live my life now. No, that's not how it is. It's, it's a fight. Um, and so I have not really um, lived up to what I said I was going to in posting more faith-based stuff. I have been extremely, extremely busy. We just moved trying to get school stuff situated and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so it's been a little bit tricky trying to balance God, my dog, my family, moving, settling, my rabbit, everything. It's just been kind of hectic through that. And so, but I really, really want to sit down and film this video for you guys because I need to put something out there. I, sitting down doing this video, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to talk about, but I think I know now what I'm going to talk about, and that is how important it is for Christians to pick up our crosses daily. I saw a video on this the other day. I will link it down below. Great video. Coffee and Bible Time uh, is a YouTube channel that I watch. Get a lot of inspiration from them. They're super, super sweet. Um, highly recommend watching their YouTube channel if you're a Christian, non-Christian, whatever. They're super inspirational. So yeah, I don't really know exactly where I want to go with this, like I said, but talking about how important it is for us Christians to live up to what we are supposed to be doing and picking up our crosses daily. And a lot of people don't really know what that means. Um, I will put the verse like right here of picking up our crosses daily, like that specific verse, uh, because I can't think of it right now. I'm foggy, brain fogged. I'm super tired, but I really wanted to film this, like I said. Um, this morning, I, sorry, last night, I found a verse. I was led to Isaiah 8, or 41, 8, and I'm going to read that to you. I'm going to read verses 8 through 14. This is what I read last night. And I will try and put them up on the screen if I can. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am, not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, and they shall be as nothing, and they shall strive with thee, shall perish. Verse 12, thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. Verse 13, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. In verse 14, Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So, I know that's a lot. I really do. Um, and it's slightly confusing, because when I read it last night, I was like, holy crap. Um, but I've meditated on it a little bit today. And part of what I pulled from it, and this is just very simple is that God's with us. That doesn't change when you accepted Christ into your heart. God is with you all the time. He doesn't leave. He's not going to forsake you. And so 
he wants us to serve for him and when serve is a very broad word in the bible in the christian community whatever um, that could be being a missionary that could be helping out a neighbor that could be sharing a verse with your best friend there's so many different ways you can serve in the kingdom of God. It is not just this one little box of, you know, getting thousands of people to Christ, although that is the biggest, you know, whatever. There are so many areas where you can help serve in the kingdom of God and do as he asks. But he's with you. He calls us his servants. He wants us to do as we are instructed to do. And it's actually funny here in verse 13, or 14, sorry, uh, he calls Jacob and Israel a worm, literally a worm. A worm is nothing compared to what he is. And then he says, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He is there to help. He wants to help. And so if you want his help, you have to ask for it. He's not just going to, you know, do everything for you unless you ask. Uh, one of my favorite songs right now is actually Oh Lord by NF. He's a Christian rapper, um, which I know I don't seem like the type of person that would like Christian rap because I really don't, but his songs are okay. <laughs> and so I really love that song because it, it talks about, you know, how this world is sitting here and we're wondering why the world is crumbling at our hands, but God's not going to answer prayers that aren't being prayed to him. You can't just sit there and expect God to take it all away from you and, you know, help you if you're not asking for help. If I needed my laundry folded and it was in the dryer, I wouldn't just expect my mom to fold it. I have to do it and or I have to ask her for help. I have to go to her and say, hey, mom, can you help me with this? And then it is up to her to make the decision of whether or not she's going to do that for me. I have behind me on my wall... I'll put in a picture here of all my verses and stuff that I keep up there. And it's growing because we moved and so. But one of the verses that I have up here is Psalm 55 verse 22. It's pretty common, but it says, Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. If you cast your cares upon him, he wants to sustain you. He wants to help you. And people ask, okay, what does it mean by casting your cares? A care is something that's a burden to you. It could be as minuscule as, what do I eat for lunch? Give it to the Lord. Lord, what do I, I don't know what to eat for lunch. Lord, help me. I give it to you. Show me what to eat. And then a salad sounds good. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Those simple things that you can help ask God to help you with. And then bigger things like being sick. Sickness is not a part of our lives, which I'm not going to go into that right now because that's just a whole nother video and a whole nother like series. Um, so if you guys want to see anything about healing, um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but as I wrap up here, I just want to say that it is not our job as Christians to bear burdens that are not ours. It is our job to cast them on the Lord and ask him for help. And it is our job to be on this earth to serve for God and to do as he asks. But to do that, you have to pick up your cross daily. Get into this. Not on your phone, not, you know, on Google. <laughs> pick up your Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, go buy one. They're super cheap at the dollar store. I mean, seriously, a Bible, a paperback Bible is so important because you can write down so much. You can take so many notes in these. Yes, there are expensive ones, but start simple. Open up your Bible. Ask God, where do I go? Where do I start? And do your job and do your duty of getting in your Bible, getting in your word and asking him to help you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little devotional this evening, this morning, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in. Um, as we close, let's just pray. Lord, I don't know who's watching this video right now, but I pray that you would just cover them uh, with your safety and your blessings and your health, Father. I pray that you would show them who you are, and if they are not saved, Lord, that you would put laborers in their path to show them who you are. I pray many blessings upon all these people. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
hopefully Sophie related. She's over there. <laughs> Bye guys.